welcome back to my channel. It's lovely to have you here. I'm taking a break from working on the kitchen and I am outside in the fresh air. It's a glorious morning. There's a cool breeze coming in off the sea and it's a fine time to start working on my veggie garden. I'm going to call it my food forest because <laughs> that's what I hope it will be eventually. I want to grow everything. I want to grow it in this space here and it's a nice long narrow space so I should be able to do all the things I want in this area. When I dreamt of my life in Barbados, this is what I envisaged, to tell you the honest truth. I saw myself out in the garden in the early morning with a cool breeze blowing and me planting and tending to my vegetables and my fruit and doing all the things that make me happy. Um, and just a nice slow pace of life with as little worry as possible and as little stress as possible. So being out here is very, very close to what I had planned in my retirement and I'm loving it. Last year wasn't a very good year for me growing vegetables and, and partly because I was so busy doing work inside the house but I need to now focus my attention on getting my vegetable garden up and running. Like I said, because I enjoyed doing that and also because the cost of fresh vegetables is really expensive and it seems to be getting more so. So whatever I can do to keep the cost down, I will try my best to do. first thing I need to do is to get some soil and then I'll mix it with compost that I bought. So that's what I'm doing here now, digging back the grass and then I'm going to scoop up a um, wheelbarrow full of uh, soil and add compost to it. There's evidence of my failed crop from last year. There's a cabbage seedling and a bunch of strawberries. I will transplant them in the hope that they will give me a harvest later on. I will add these to all the other seedlings that are waiting to be planted. many of my subscribers have the same dream and the same vision if they moved abroad to be able to till the land and grow some of their own fresh fruit and vegetables chemical free as organic as possible it's such a liberating idea that I'm sure I can't be the only one who is excited by the idea of living off the land I'm even thinking about chickens but <laughs> I'm a little worried that I might be scared of them. <laughs> I bought four bags of organic compost to mix with the garden soil and I'm hoping that this will be enough to do all the seedlings that I've got waiting.
by the way, the cost of the compost, and I think it was a 25 litre bag, was $20 from Carter's. In the future, I will be building my own compost from a garden waste, but I had none. That's why I had to purchase four bags. You may be wondering why I am planting my spinach in a Asda carrier bag. Um, two reasons. One, because the first year I came, I planted everything that I grew in bags. And just look at the harvest. And two, I want to put them into a veggie cage to stop the insects getting at them. Oh, and the third reason. <laughs> When I want to move them around to avoid the heat of the day, I can just lift up the bag and move it to a different location. Just put the spinach here for now. And to be honest, the caterpillars don't really eat too much of the spinach. Now I'll just quickly plant the strawberry bush that I found growing. And I'll throw in that little cabbage seedling that was fighting to survive. I'll give it a second chance. another failed attempt. I planted loads and loads of onions and only one seems to be hanging in there. I will repot it and hope for the best. Just remembered I've got some garlic growing and some chives. I will add it to this pot and if they get too big I will separate them and put them in separate pots. plant out a few more tomatoes. I will move these on into separate pots, but for now they can share this pot. I seem to do all right with tomatoes. The only problem is those big fat caterpillars seem to want to eat all my tomatoes. So I tend to take them off early and let them ripe off the vine. Tell you this for now, tomatoes here are very expensive and I love my tomatoes. So I'll keep on planting them going to have a go at planting some marrows. I did these from seed and they seem to be coming on fine. So I'm going to plant them in a, just in a big bag and see how they get on. Marrows seem to grow really well here. Now I'm worried about these already, so I'm going to cover them with a mesh to keep the bugs away. Now I keep talking about the caterpillar, I'm going to show you what one looks like and trust me these things are huge! And they will decimate your crop within an hour, so wherever possible I will cover the vegetables with mesh. I've got broccoli, cauliflower, 
cabbages, all of them I'm going to have covered. Ideally, I would love something like this, but I can't afford that, so I've rigged up something. <laughs> this will have to do. <laughs> Until next time, guys, look after yourself. Bye. Mm -hmm.